Seven Sierra Papa, reach you loud and clear, over. I got you loud and clear as well, ready to go. Hi, my name is Licia. What inspired you to be an astronaut? And did Neil Armstrong have anything to do with it? Over. Oh, I think Neil Armstrong had a lot to do with almost, uh, it was inspiring almost every astronaut. We did the scene. And uh, I was inspired by all the early astronauts as well as the early test pilots. I became a military test pilot before being an astronaut. Uh, we don't take a shower. 
shower up here, we take a sponge bath, and we can get uh, hot water. We have a machine that uh, dispenses hot water or warm water. We can also put the warm water in a refrigerator to get it cold. We take a lot less water to stay clean up here. Hi, my name is Maddie. How do you know what's going on in your hometown? Do you get the news? Over. Maddie, we get news every day that's uh, up like to us. And we also have email and we have a telephone where I can call home uh, to keep up on what's going on uh, at Earth. Of course, it's still difficult to keep up with all the details. Hi, my name is Nick. What's it like to work with different people on the International Space Station? Over. Nick, one of the biggest rewards on the space station is working with people from other countries and other, other perspectives of the world. Uh, and it really makes the space station international. Hi, my name is Ailey. What kind of foods do you eat and how is it different than normal food on Earth? Over. Sailor, we have all kinds of food on board, and speaking of international, we have a lot of international food as well. We have a lot of Russian food, American food, uh, European food, French food, Japanese food, Canadian food. Uh, we've got, got it all. A lot of it is uh, ready to eat, and some of it is, uh, needs to be rehydrated. It comes dry, and we add water to it. Hi, my name is Keegan. How do you get to the International Space Station back to Earth? Over. Okay, and there are two ways to get uh, for people to get to the International Space Station. One of them is on the space shuttle, and you might have saw on the news just last week, we had a space shuttle come and visit us, and they took one of our uh, uh, space station crew members back. Also, the, how I got here and how many of us get here is on a Russian Soyuz launching from Kazakhstan, and we will also return on the Soyuz to Kazakhstan in uh, March. Hi, my name's Lexi. Does it get crowded on the International Space Station with all of the people and equipment? Over. It would get crowded if uh, several of us are working in the same part of the space station, especially when the shuttle crew is here. We had 12 people on board uh, last week. But the space station is very big, and with a, a space station crew of six, we're usually spread out all day, so it doesn't get very crowded. Hi, my name is Mary. What does your spacesuit do for you, and what would happen without it? Over. Well, the spacesuit is worn uh, outside when we do spacewalks, and a different spacesuit when we launch and when we land. Um, and it's because if uh, a spacewalk, of course, there's no air outside, we need to have the air inside the suit. It maintains our pressure and our, our atmosphere and our temperature. And now for launch and landing, in case we had a, a, a leak in the capsule, we need the spacesuit to survive. And of course, we, we need it for survival. How do you sleep on the International Space Station? Over. Each of us have a crew quarters, Patrick, that we sleep in. We have a sleeping bag and tie it to the wall in there. You just crawl in your sleeping bag and zip it up and uh, go to sleep. It's very comfortable to sleep in space. Hi, my name is Braxton. What kind of games do you play and how do you play them? Over. Well, we like to do uh, astronaut tricks, I guess. You could say they're kind of, we play with water. Water bubbles are a lot of fun in, in zero gravity. Uh, and sometimes we, we have uh, laser uh, beams that we can shoot in water and it does uh, strange things. Of course, we can do a lot of tumbling and gymnastic kind of things in weightlessness, even though we're not athletes, uh, it's easy to do in a weightless environment. Hi, my name is Zach. How old is the International Space Station and how long will it be moved over?